Leading Self For a man, to conquer himself is the first and noblest of all victories, said Plato, the ancient Greek philosopher. At Harappa, our course, Leading Self, is at the heart of the lead habit. People understand leadership as an external activity. Most leadership development programs also focus solely on training people on how to lead others. But before you can aspire to lead others, you must begin with leading yourself. This is where real leadership begins. In life, we are often presented with opportunities. Many people don't end up seizing them because of their underlying assumption that new skills can't be built and behaviours don't change. They let go of opportunities because they fear failure. Personal leadership is about grabbing these opportunities and using them for growth and success. Our course presents a way to learn how to lead yourself. It advocates the belief that we can all grow and change both our behaviours and skills. To script an accelerated personal growth journey and maximise opportunities for growth. Very simply, leading self comprises two fundamental principles to improve your performance. Overcoming your interferences and discovering your potential. In this course, you will learn how to recognize opportunities for growth, address barriers to growth, assume responsibility for one's progress, learn new mindsets and skills. We have an exciting constellation of faculty and senior professionals teaching on this course. Let's meet them first. Suzanne Abadian Rajat Gupta Deepa Kapoor Joseph Jawahar Pramila Matthew Amit Kumar Pramatraj Sinha Quite a lineup, isn't it? Let's tell you a little more about the sections of the Leading Self course so you can get started. Pursuing personal leadership, managing mental blocks, harnessing hidden potential. By the end of this course, you will be able to take charge of your own growth and development and strengthen your Harappa lead habit. We have several exercise sets of different formats throughout the course. Inspired by principles of behaviour change, cognitive science and learning psychology, our exercises will enable you to recall, understand, apply, analyse, evaluate and synthesise your learning. The primer is a set of questions at the beginning of the course. It will facilitate reflection, self-assessment and goal-setting. The practice exercises used throughout the course are a critical learning tool. They appear after key concepts to help you apply your understanding of the concepts learned. Practice exercises are not graded. The touchstone appears at the end of the modules. The touchstone will be your first graded assessment. It will also provide actionable insights for your progress. We can't say this enough. Practice builds skills. So, do make the best use of our exercises to accelerate your learning. They'll ensure you reach the primary goal of this course, to lead yourself. Let's begin.